Employer wants me to clean bathrooms now. So I have been what basically amounts to a production manager for over 14 years now at this family business. I work MTH. 7-5 then I'm out. I try to not get involved with the other half of the business which is a winery steakhouse. Only so far as keeping them supplied with alcohol. I just got word from another administration employee that over the weekend they had a meeting and will now be asking myself and the other employee to start full deep cleaning the bathrooms every week because we use them too. Mind you these are the same bathrooms that get blown up by the restaurant customers, tipped employees, and restaurant managers over the weekend. Anything I can do to argue myself out of this when the owners come to tell me the good news? This is in CA by the way. Tell them it's not in your job description and if they want to add to that list of tasks you'll need to renegotiate your employment terms. Ask how much of a raise you get for this amendment to your job decryption. Hire a janitor so your tipped employees don't have to do it either. Tell them you can't perform the work because you're not trained in the OSHA requirements for handling human waste or sewage. You don't want to risk an OSHA violation, citation, or investigation and have their best interests at heart. You've been there 14 years. Find another job, get a big pay raise then resign. They're saying that because legally they can't ask tipped employees to do that kind of maintenance. Work without paying the minimum wage for the time they're doing it. Who does the other cleaning duties? Isn't there a swamper who does the floors and cleans everything? They cut the cleaning crew which is a sure sign to dip. I've worked for you for 14 years and now you want me to clean toilets? What did I do to deserve this demotion? Are you trying to get me to quit? Listen boss. If you're unhappy with my performance and wish for me to quit, please have the courage to say it outright. Respect me and your business enough not to ply these games. You have worked in the same place for 14 years and now they want you scooping poops? Pull all the material safety handling sheets on the cleaners they want you to use. As well as biohazard handling. They're going to need to train you up on all that before you can clean the bathroom. Not to mention the serious investment in PPE, and the realistic times they'll need to schedule and pay you your full rate to do so. Damn it's like someone figured out this was cheaper and easier to subcontract years ago. They cut your cleaning staff without thinking of the repercussion. Enjoyed the meager monthly net gain and now the toilets are shitty. How do these people feed themselves? Just say I don't and won't clean toilets. Will a poop knife be provided? Find a new job. Had a previous employer tell me to do that once. My reply was, quote unquote, do I look like a fucking cleaner to you? Before he could even start the usual bevy of threats etc. I said number. I don't want to hear your bullshit. I quit. Effectively right fucking now. Fuck you and walked. Anyone who asks someone hired to perform white collar roles to perform cleaning tasks deserves no second chance whatsoever. Ask them when they are supposed to clean the toilets. If they don't, say they can't use them then. Assuming your skills are transferable. I think I'd just say. No. I'm not doing that. A restaurant should have one or more maintenance staff to handle that among their other tasks. Anything I can do to argue myself out of this when the owners come to tell me the good news? Tell them the whole staff is on strike. That's a no from me. Dog, time to find a new place. I am not trained in cleaning bathrooms. I would tell them that you don't think it's a good use of your time and would cost them less money to hire someone to do the cleaning. Do they really want to be paying production manager wages for cleaning the bathroom? I doubt it. Actually, 
As I typed this out I think talking about how it would probably be cheaper to hire someone will be the most effective. Do you have biohazard training? If not, they can't ask you to clean the bathroom or any other biohazard scenario. Um no. Several years ago we moved into a new office that did not include weekly cleaning. The big boss wanted us to take turns vacuuming the office and wiping down the surfaces. Everyone would be responsible for dumping their own trash. Myself and the other female employee in the five-person office flat refused to do it. We knew that it would end up being us doing it all the time. I got them five quotes and had them pick one. Nope. I'm not cleaning the office. No, I won't be doing that. It's not in your job description. Nor should it be. You are not trained in OSHA biohazard cleanup. Are you? Your employer would have to ensure you were OSHA trained and had appropriate PPE. Are you in a union? If so, talk to them. If not, let your employer know that you won't be taking on this extra responsibility and why. Definitely take the OSHA path people are recommending. Also ensure you have the MSDS on all chemicals used. And the safety gear required for those chemicals. I wouldn't argue, I just say no. Most company owners managers respond to money. Compare your hourly rate versus a janitor's. If your rate is higher, remind management how much they will be losing by you doing that job. If your rate is lower, start looking for a new job. You're underpaid for a production manager. No job is beneath me. I actually don't mind shoveling manure. But the more I dislike a job, the more I want to get paid for it. Luckily, I'm in the enviable position of not being that hungry for money now. So I can pick and choose what I do. Just ask what the procedure is to invoice the industrial cleaner's bill. Cause you'll hire a company to do it but you have no training or qualifications for deep cleaning a bathroom. If you've been there 14 years and they are about to add a task that is really more appropriate for a dishwasher, they don't respect you. I don't want to sound elitist but bathroom cleaning is generally considered an entry-level payor. Do sort of thing. I would really think about changing jobs. I was one of two women in the office. I was the receptionist the boss asked me to mop the bathrooms I looked at him hard for a second. Stared him straight in the eye and said. No. I expected him to fire me. He didn't. He did huff and puff as he walked away. I would love to hear him explain to the unemployment board how mopping bathrooms is part of my receptionist duties. That's a no for me, dog. After 14 years as a production manager. Why now? I have questions. Who's doing it now? Can they not afford a cleaning crew? Are they trying to make you miserable so you'll leave? I just seems weird that this popped up. Do a terrible job. It isn't required for other aspects of the job and you weren't hired with them knowing you have the knowledge. Take way too long to do a poor job and see how long they ask you to keep doing it. It's against the law in the USA if you're not trained for blood-borne pathogens. Do it while finding other employment. Of course but v-e-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-r-